Hi, my name's Leo and I'm a boat builder and a sailor. Back in 2017, I bought a very old and quite famous wooden sailing yacht for the price of $1. And since then, I've been rebuilding that boat from the keel up with the help of a lot of amazing people. Now, as you might have guessed, I'm still back in the UK, uh, still sorting out my US visa. Uh, but in this video, we're gonna be looking at some footage I took before I left the US um, of fitting the final bullet planks, uh, painting and fitting the channels to the hull, trimming the top of the stanchions, putting tenons on them, um, and a few other things. But before we get into all of that, uh, the first thing I had to do uh, was cut out the last of the bullet planks. So the bottom two strakes of the bullet planks are on, uh, the third strake is almost ready to go and you may have noticed that the bottom strake is quite a bit wider than the top two. Uh, there is a reason for that, it's to do with the, the slot at the bottom but also the cove line which is going to be carved into uh, that bottom plank. Now before I fasten the top planks to the stanchions I want to cut all of those stanchions to their final heights and I want to cut a tenon into the top of them. Uh, on the top of the stanchions and the bullet planks there's going to be a cap rail, a nice teak rail that goes all the way around the boat and that is going to mortise over tenons in the top of the stanchions and it's going to be easier for me to cut those tenons now before the planks go on. I'm going to use a router with a jig so all the tenons are exactly the same size and shape um, and that will make cutting the mortises easier as well because I can use a corresponding jig in the cap rail for those. Now, while I'm getting that set up, Bob is going to be making some templates for the chain plates. Uh, we need some angles and some lengths, and those all correspond with some uh, positions of mast hardware further up the rig where the shrouds, uh, the standing rigging, are going to terminate. Uh, so he's going to make some templates, and when we have those, the chain plates are going to be made in bronze by Port Townsend Foundry. Thank you. 
So before cutting the bore extensions to their final height, I wanted to uh, double check the sort of shear line of the top of the bulwarks. And so I uh, put up a big long batten on both sides of the boat um, and then went up in the genie lift so I could get a good view of that line uh, from a little bit above and further away on both sides of the boat. Uh, once we had that fair and made some little adjustments, then we could scribe the final line that we we're going to cut the bulwarks to. Now while I was keeping busy with the bulwarks, Patrick was keeping busy down below. Uh, he was building a bulkhead between the galley and the chart table and originally that was going to be a low bulkhead but we decided to raise it up and give it a little bit more separation between those two areas and we also decided to put a post at the end of it uh, which would act as a sort of grab handle and Patrick did a really nice job of making that into a really attractive feature. Making, I'm making a bulkhead and, I'm, and we're going to have a little cutout here. What is the point of the cutout? Well, it's just, just, you know, let some light through, give it, give it, divide the space, but make it a little bit open, and then also just, ah, you can grab onto this if things go awry. am I going to be able to throw peanuts at your forehead? When George is cooking, I'm here. When George is making I'm a room. Over there, am I going to be able to yell at him? <laughs> More salt! Yeah. <laughs>
So those cuts at the tops of the staunchions, they look square, but actually they're not, they're compound bevels. And so, although I started doing those by hand with the pull saw, uh, it was actually quite slow doing it that way because I want them to be quite precise. So I switched up to uh, rough cutting them first with the circular saw a little bit above the line and then actually using a router with a guide block clamped on either side of the staunchion. And that actually allowed me to very accurately cut the top of the staunchion exactly to the line and it left a very clean, perfectly flat surface. And as well as actually being quicker, that will help further down the line uh, with cutting the tenons and also with actually fitting the cap rail. Tenon. Beautiful. So I did make a little router jig for cutting the tenons in the top of the staunchions. Um, and because the angle of the top of each tenon is slightly different, uh, that jig had hinges on both sides to allow it to be used on uh, all the staunchions. Uh, the reason I wanted to use the jig rather than just doing those by hand uh, is that I want all the tenons to be exactly the same width because then I can use the corresponding router jig to cut the mortises in the bottom of the cat rail uh, and that way they'll all be exactly the same and they should all fit really snugly and that'll help with uh, potentially edge setting the cat rail uh, and just getting a nice clean tight fit. Around that time though I was actually getting sick. This was a few weeks ago. Uh, I had COVID and uh, was feeling really rough. Luckily, uh, Patrick and Nick offered to take over that work, and so uh, they proceeded to uh, trim the tops of the remaining staunchions and uh, cut the tenons, and they did a very good job doing that.
Okay, well, I'm finally nearly over my sickness and uh, the guys did a great job of trimming the top of the staunchions and cutting the tenons uh, while I was out of action. So now it's time to finally hang the top stroke of the bulwark planks. Well, as you can see, we've had a bit of snow here and um, I just finished getting all the bulwark planks hung on the boat. So that was very satisfying. It was a really fun job. Next up, Bob is going to be fastening the channels onto the side of the boat, which he's been making during this time um, and getting some paint on. How does it feel to get those on the boat? Uh, it, it feels like a suitable first step. A little foundational element to build the, build the rig on. Mm -hmm.
Well, it was really very pleasing for me to be able to get those final bullet planks on the boat before I left the US uh, and to see the channels on there as well, of course. They both make big visual changes to the boat. Uh, and it was great for me to get a little bit more time on the tools for this last job. Uh, very often now I find I'm spending a lot of time managing and editing and filming and ordering and uh, processing and that sort of thing, which is fine, but I really enjoy it when I get a chance to uh, do more woodwork. It's also been very nice for me to have a bit of a forced holiday back here in the UK while I get my visa stuff sorted. Uh, but I am really looking forward to getting back to the States, um, seeing what progress has been made uh, because some of the guys were still working while I was away uh, and I'm really looking forward to hopefully getting to make the cat rails. Uh, but until then, a uh, big thanks to the team over there in Port Townsend. Um, thanks for watching and a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has donated or otherwise supported this project. It does make a huge difference and it means that we're able to keep doing this work and I'm able to keep on making and editing these videos. So I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.